Ultraviolet, Everything You Believe is Wrong, by R.J. Anderson. Allison killed Tori. She's sure of it. She hit Tori in a moment of rage and watched the girl scream and disintegrate. Allison has powers, powers she can't understand or control. For Allison, sounds have shapes and colors, names have flavor, numbers have personalities. Allison's mother thinks she's crazy, so when she comes home incoherent and covered in blood, she has Allison committed to a psychiatric hospital. With Tori missing, the police have questions for Allison, but she knows she can't tell the truth. When a mysterious and attractive neuropsychologist, Dr. Sebastian Faraday, comes to the hospital, Allison begins to unravel her tangled memories and begins to understand that she is not insane. Allison has synesthesia, a condition in which her senses blend together. Stimulating one sense activates another, so she really does see sounds and taste names. In addition, Allison is a tetrachromat. She has more sensitive eyes than other people and can even see ultraviolet light. The two conditions combine to make Allison's world far richer and sometimes overwhelming. Dr. Faraday is not who he seems to be, and he holds the key to finding out what happened to Tori. When he is kicked out of the hospital, Allison will have to risk everything to find him and find the courage to follow Sebastian on a reality-bending journey. To find out what happens to Allison, read Ultraviolet, Everything You Believe is Wrong, by R.J. Anderson.